Good morning. So, I was uh, asked a couple questions. One was remarked on my comparison video, the sidetrack and trio. And a few others from more from coworkers and other people that I run into and the conversation just comes up. So I'm going to try to answer those in this video. Um, so where did I get the trio? So I got the trio through Indiegogo. Um, I never did that type of purchase before. It's one of those types where like you're funding the company to make the product is how I understand it. And I was that I wasn't comfortable with that in the beginning, but looking at the comments and the remarks and the issues that some people were bringing up, it wasn't issues about the monitors. It was more issues about why they're not receiving it when someone received theirs that ordered it after they did, if that makes sense. So like if you were the first person that ordered it or put money towards it, whatever, and a thousand people did this and the thousandth person received theirs before you received yours. That those were the issues I was seeing and the company was responding back with they they're apologizing for how their algorithm is not set up that way and they apologize for the inconvenience. But what got me was that people were putting their money towards this and receiving it. They weren't putting their money towards it and not getting anything out of it. The other thing too was you weren't putting it it to me, it seemed like uh you were getting back what you were paying for. Like you weren't putting in for in that much more money than the sidetrack. I did if you saw my comparison video, the sidetrack, if you bought two of those monitors, you'd be paying more than this setup. So that was worth the money um, in that aspect to have three monitors. So I went for it and I ordered it June 19th and received it by the end of June. So the 30th or the 31st, I'm not sure. Um, whatever day I did the comparison video, that's the day I received it. So it didn't take long. And I've been happy with it so far. I've had it for about going on three weeks, more than three weeks now. And no problems with it. The only issues I have are the issues I hit with the uh, comparison video. But uh, other than that, I mean, this is my setup. I mean, it's very productive. Three, three screens. I'm, I'm very happy. And... I'm not, I'm not having to minimize windows and having more than one window brought up on one screen or having to hide one to see one when I need the information off that one and then copy it and see what information I need to copy the right stuff and put it over on the one I need to put it on. I can see it all. It's right there, rarely available and go, okay. Here we go. This goes over here. This goes over there. This is what I'm typing. And it's very nice. I'm, I'm very happy, especially when uh, we do our video chats. I can have the one video chat up and in the process of that, I could still be knocking out work while while that's going on. I'm not I'm not uh, losing time on work items that I'm supposed to be knocking out. So that, that saves time off my day as well. It gives me more time with my family. Right now I'm working remote though. Not only from work, but from home. I'm in a hotel. I drove to this location, so I didn't have to do the whole airport thing. But I did bring uh, my other monitor as a backup. Again, just in case something happens to this one, I have a backup. Um... I, I've always traveled with two two laptops just in case one ends up with some sort of issue. I drop it. I break it. Someone drops it. Someone breaks it. 
something gets spilt on it, I have a backup. I'm not, I'm not out of luck and trying to go to a store and purchase a laptop right off the, without doing any research for it, just spending money just to, just so I can keep on working. So, I'm happy with that. Uh, my setup, again, I've got the Trio, and then I've got the Sidetrack as a backup. I had this USB, multi-USB plug for my flash drives, my cat card reader, because I've only got three USB ports on this one. Two of them are the... Uh, 3.0, one's a 2.0, and this is a 3.0 adapter, so you plug whatever you want into it, and you'll get the performance out of it. Uh, my multi-card reader, and so if the question is, why do I have all this nonsense? Well, I never save anything to the laptops. I always save it directly to these flash drives. I'm, I'm paranoid about getting viruses and stuff like that, or the laptop gets broken, I lose whatever accomplishments I have work-wise on the laptop getting lost and having to redo, not to mention having to figure out what it was that was lost. If you do multiple things and save multiple files at a time. I don't have that issue. I save it to the flash drives. I have three of them. Uh, two of them plug in to cell phones. And so if a coworker or my boss needs files or something, I could take one of these and transfer it into their phone directly. Or if I don't trust them too much on their, again, I don't want viruses or anything or anything being corrupted. I'm not, I'm not perfectly savvy on the computer side I do what I have to do for work and I, I do my best to know how to do that stuff I'll research shortcuts and all that other stuff but as far as game viruses I just do my best not to be uh, getting them as possible so if I don't even trust the person I'll just take the I'll take a memory card and I'll put it in my memory card reader and I'll give them a memory card and they'll have the file there so, there's that. I have my own power strip. There's a power surge or something. My laptop's protected. It's also got USB ports. This one I'm pretty happy with. It, it's a small... It fits nicely on the side of the laptop in the, in the pocket. And it's got four plugs and three USB ports. So... And this is angled, it's not coming straight out, so you can have it. it it's a nice setup, I like it. <clears throat> um, uh, yeah, like I said, I traveled by car with this setup, so I wasn't on the airplane. Um, if I was on the airplane, this would be a different setup. This bag would be inside of a luggage bag, and I'd have one of these... I would have this laptop with me on the plane because again if you saw my comparison video this laptop this the uh, magnetic strips are indented into the monitor into the monitors framing but the metal tabs that they connect to that are connected to the laptop are not so it just it'll slide around where is the sidetrack the magnets themselves and the metal tabs that are connected to the laptop are indented, have space indentions on the uh, monitor side. So that doesn't move around. So I can sit on uh, one of the chairs at in the airport and work and have no problem. Uh, yeah, so I'll have... So I got this sidetrack and this laptop here. I got an external disk drive here for that laptop because it doesn't have a drive. The other laptop does. 
uh, pins white out, typical stuff. This is where my flash drives would go. And uh, the multi-card reader, as well as the USB, multi-USB port would go there. I put my cat card reader here. It fits nicely right into this little pocket. This little pocket right here. And I'll have the cord inside here. I'll also have the uh, Trio's monitor cables in here. And then on the side, power cable for... Uh, the Trio laptop, and I got the power cable for the Sidetrack laptop. They're both HP, so that's how I refer to them now. I got a Trio laptop, and I got a Sidetrack laptop. And then the Trio laptop goes in this pocket here. It's got a metal bar right here, so I'll put my file, my files against that. And then the Trio... We'll go inside this sleeve, and the laptop will just be inside here. And again, that power strip fits right on the side, right here. And I still have room to like throw other stuff in here, like I throw my sunglass cases in here. Like there's there's enough room in all the pockets for extra stuff. This pocket has more cables. USB extensions, you know, you're charging your cell phone and you still need to use your cell phone and the plugs on one side of the room and you want to be on the other side of the room. I have these extensions and HDMI cable for the laptops to hook up to other displays um, when I'm doing presentations and I'm hooked up to Maybe a projector screen or uh, a big screen TV. I have my own HDMI cable. People aren't searching. Where's the HDMI cable? Or you're getting a, a messed up HDMI cable that cuts in and out because the cable's all been yanked on or bent in one place or another. Uh... So I hope that wasn't a whole lot of rambling. I hope that got some questions answered. If you have if you have any other questions, you think I'm using something or I might be interested or I might have researched it and you're wondering what I think of it or something of that nature, feel free to ask if I, obviously, if I have no experience with it. I'll answer you back. I'll just say, no, I'm sorry. I've never done that or never used that, whatever it is. Or if it's uh, something that I have experience with and I think it's useful for more than just you individually, I'll make a video on it. I don't do any editing. This is going on 13 minutes before I start my work. So it's not that big of a deal for me to take 15 minutes out of my day to do a video while it's uploading to YouTube. I'll be working. So it's not really inconveniencing me. And I'm, I'm, I started doing these videos because I wasn't seeing the information I wanted from consumers. I, I don't like seeing information from the non-consumers. I mean, they're, they're biased. And if I'm going to be spending hundreds of dollars, I want, I would want to know is, is somebody that spent hundreds, hundreds of dollars happy with what they purchased. And I am. I mean, I did my comparison video. There's dislikes and likes for both the Sidetrack and the uh, Trio, but they weren't that big of a deal. One is this one will slide around if you're not on a desktop or tabletop, whatever, counter, you need, you need a surface for the monitors to rest on. The sidetrack, you don't. Uh, the trio screens are protected far better than the, than the, uh, sidetrack, but both of those are small things for 
the convenience of what they do compared to other systems out there. They're not connected to your laptop. So you have to have two, two separate dedicated locations for each screen you're using. If you go to move from one spot to another, I could easily pick this up and move to another spot with my hand underneath the laptop and the monitors or close it up and take it and move to a different location with not that big of a deal. I can still do that with one hand versus having to use two hands and take everything down and deal with a cable connected to two different things that aren't attached. It, it, it's inconvenience. So I have 15 minutes going on 16 minutes. I guess uh, this doesn't need to be a 20 minute video. So I hope this helps. Again, that's all that's all I'm intending to do. So the fact that I have views and at least one person asking a question, another person made a good comment for me for my comparison video, and I appreciate that. It shows that I was right in doing the videos that I did. It's helping somebody, even if it's one or two people. Um, I'm happy with that. So... I hope this helps as well. Uh, thank you for your interest. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Wherever you're at, I hope it's a beautiful day like it is here. Unfortunately, I got some work to do on my laptops before I can go out and enjoy it. But it's only a few hours. It's the weekend. So I just got to be ready for Monday tomorrow. Enjoy. Enjoy life.